What is up, Internet? Welcome to episode 27 of a hodgepodge of information. Stuff you might want to know, but you probably don't. This is iPhone 7 right here. Uh, Apple released it. It's been like two weeks now, uh, but it's game changing and not so much all at the same time. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. The first thing you're probably noticing is the color of the phone and the fact that this phone specifically has two cameras on the back. Those are two big things for this edition, is that for the first time, Apple's released what they call the Jet Black Edition, which is actually a polished aluminum, and it is a pain to get a hold of right now. It's actually back-ordered into tomorrow. Uh, all the other colors are, are kind of available. They're a little harder to find, but they're you can pretty much find one if you work at it a little bit. The other thing is this dual camera setup. So uh, you may have noticed that some of the other Android manufacturers have started releasing phones with two cameras. This actually allows for the uh, OS to process from both lenses uh, to add some, some actually like better zoom and things. That's basically what Apple did. One of these lenses has 2x zoom. Uh, the other lens is a regular lens. Uh, and so you can kind of switch between the two of them and the 2x zoom. Uh, since it is optical and not digital, you can actually still maintain the full 12 megapixels uh, that Apple has natively on their phones. And so it actually takes really great shots. I've had some great, great success with it so far. The other thing that a lot of people probably have noticed is that it doesn't have a headphone jack. That's the other kind of big thing that they that they rolled out is that there's no headphone jack. The headphone jack is not on the bottom anymore. The headphone jack doesn't exist. Uh, they're routing the audio through if the lightning port on the bottom and they're packaging in an adapter if you need to go to your standard headphone jack. Personally, I haven't used the headphone jack in a long time. I use Bluetooth headphones almost exclusively, so it didn't really matter to me. But for some people it will. Uh, but in classic Apple fashion, they're removing something that a lot of people use uh, because they understand that in a couple of years, it's going to be gone anyway. They did it with the VGA port. They did it with the CD drive. They did it with floppy back in the day. Um, just kind of classic Apple. The other new color that they unveiled this year is the matte black. And so previously they've had what they called space gray. Uh, and it was kind of a dark gray. It was all right. That's what I had previously. But this matte black is completely black i really love it it's the one that i actually have see it's right here i've got a clear case on it it's kind of shiny but it's matte black um and but they did keep the gold silver and rose gold along with it the camera like i said is super updated uh the new screen they've improved what they call the color gamut um uh, it's, and it's brighter and so it's a really nice screen i've been really impressed with the actual quality of it so far um i'm not gonna say it's blown me away but i'm i'm very pleased i don't notice that it's only 1080p when you've got android phones that are packing qhd it doesn't really bother me uh the 3d touch is back uh the other big thing is the a10 fusion chip is so most of the Android devices have been like, oh, we're quad core, we're octa core, we're 14 cores, it doesn't really matter. All that to say, Apple for the first time is done what they call like a big little configuration where they've got two main cores uh, that do most of the heavy lifting. But if you're doing like light processing to save battery, uh, they've got two uh, lesser spec cores um, that use less battery but are also less powerful and so it kind of bounces between uh, both sets of cores for what you actually need to do and overall results in a much better experience and better battery life. Uh, this is the highest battery life ever in an iPhone, longest one 100%. Additionally, <coughs> excuse me, additionally they added a second speaker and so if we see here they actually added a speaker right here in the, uh, the earpiece and then the same speaker at the bottom. I thought this was going to be a gimmick. I thought this was not going to make any difference, and I was wrong. It is fantastic. The, the experience with two speakers, they're louder, they're more dynamic. I'm really pleased and really, really love it. I That was kind of the thing that surprised me the most. Uh, additionally, I was 10. Uh, and then finally, I'll talk about the Earpod, the AirPods. 
Um, Apple decided that since they were removing the headphone jack, they should make some wireless headphones. They did. They're called AirPods. They're $159. And if you like Apple's packed in ear pods, uh, they're basically the same thing, but wireless. They have a built-in chip. They're kind of Bluetooth. They're kind of not. They're proprietary. Um, I'm not super impressed by them, but I don't like their uh, ear pods to begin with. But that's a note for you. Overall, new iPhone 7. It is waterproof, uh, water resistant, excuse me. Uh, IPX67 rated, so it's up for uh, 30 minutes in like three feet of water. Not a whole lot, but if you happen to drop it in uh, to a to a pool or something, it's not going to wreck your phone. So that's a great great benefit uh, this time around. Uh, the camera is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. And overall, the battery life has been just without a doubt some of the best I've experienced on an iPhone uh, to date. I'm really, really pleased. If you've got any other questions, something I didn't talk about. Uh, oh, I completely forgot. The home button isn't a button. It's like uh, the track pads on the new MacBooks. They've got the Taptic engine inside. So when you press on it, it makes you think that you're actually pressing, but you're not actually pressing on anything. It vibrates uh, and kind of fakes your mind out. Uh, I also really like that. So there's so much new and not so much new. It's very similar and it'll feel right at home if you owned uh, a 6 or 6 Plus uh, in the new iPhone. Go check it out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you on this specific video. This has been episode 27 of a hodgepodge of information. Stuff you might want to know, but you probably don't. iPhone 7. Go buy it. Bye.